Hello everyone, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, it means a lot. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. It is the third part where I will teach you how to rig this cute mushroom character. If you want to learn how to model and texture it, check out my Patreon satails, link in bio. And if you subscribe to the first tire, which is less than the price of a coffee, you will get access to this tutorial and many more. Now let's begin with rigging. Switch to solid mode. Switch to the front orthographic view by clicking on that green uh, minus Y on gizmo or pressing Ctrl plus numpad 1. Go to add armature, single bone if you have an older version of Blender, or if not, just click on armature. Select the bone and switch to edit mode with tab. Select all with A and scale it with S for around 0.22. Turn off snapping with shift plus tab and go to object data properties. Go to viewport display and turn on in front so you can see bones in front of your character. Move the bone with G plus Z for round minus 0.28. Select only this top part of the bone. Move it with G plus Z for round minus 0.14. Select all with A. Move it with G plus Z for round minus 0.004. Extrude it with E plus Z for round 0.07. Zero Extrude it with E plus Z for round 0.1. Extrude it with E plus Z for round 0.15. Select this bone. Duplicate it with Shift plus D and move it with G something like this. Rotate it for around 108 degrees and move it with G. Select this part of the bone, move it with G. Extrude it with E two times. Change from medium point to 3D cursor. Press Shift plus S and choose cursor to world origin. Select these bones, duplicate them with Shift plus D and scale them with S plus X minus 1. Change from 3D cursor to medium point. Select this bone and duplicate it with Shift plus D and move it with G. Rotate it for around 178 degrees. Move it with G. Select this part and move it with G. Extrude it with E plus Z so that the end goes a bit past the leg. Select both bones, change from medium point to 3D cursor, duplicate them with Shift plus D and scale them with S plus X minus 1. Select these two bones and this one in the middle. Press Ctrl plus P and choose Keep Offset. Now these bones are connected. Switch to Object Mode with Tab and select in the Outliner first Mushroom and then while holding Ctrl, select Armature. Press Alt plus P and choose with Automatic Weights. Switch from Object Mode to Pose Mode. Switch from 3D cursor to medium point. Select this bone and move it with R to see if anything is influenced when you move this bone. Select this bone. Rotate it with R. As you can see, the eye is moving when you move the bone and that shouldn't happen. Select this bone and check it. And this one. And this. And this and this. As you can see, the first problem is those bones are influencing the eye, so let's fix that first. Switch to object mode, select the character, and by holding shift, select the armature. Switch to edit mode. Select both eyes with L for linked. Press Ctrl plus I for inverted selection, and press H to hide. Switch from edit mode to weight paint. Select this bone with Alt plus left mouse button. You can see that when you click this bone, eyes are blue. That means that this bone doesn't have any influence on the eyes. Maybe your skeleton will show differently. It all depends on the position and size of your bones and automatic weight. Click on every bone and try to find the one that shows either one or both eyes in red. You can also check influence by rotating the bone with R. For example, this bone is showing red eye. And when you rotate it, the eye is moving. So how to fix it? Put weight to zero. That means that when you paint your eye, you will paint it blue, which means it has zero influence and your bone won't move. So paint it like this from all sides. If you didn't paint it well somewhere, your eyes will still move when you rotate your bone. 
like this. So keep coloring it until it is not moving. Now it is good. Select this bone. As you can see, the eye is red, so did, so did what you did previously. Paint it to blue until it is not moving when you are rotating the bone. Select this bone and try to rotate it. Eyes are not moving, but they should. It is the head part, so check that bone. If it is not moving, then you need it to paint it red. In that case, change weight to one, so it has influence on the bone. And paint both of eyes red. They are moving, so it is all good. Now switch back to edit mode. Unhide everything with Alt plus H, switch to object mode with tab and rendered mode. Drag the armature and switch to the pose mode. And select each bone and rotate it with R to see if it's working properly. If it is working, it's all done. If it's not, you can go again to the weight paint and correct it. Now you know how to rig a character. That's all for today. If you had fun learning with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I recently started the Patreon with more exclusive content like tutorials, 3D models, planned files, behind the scenes videos, etc. You can also download the free Blender guide based on this lesson, so feel free to check it out if you like text tutorials more. It is updated monthly. I'm also often sharing pre 3D models, making quizzes, etc. There is something for both free and paid members, so don't forget to check the link in the, in the description. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comments. Happy blending everyone, bye, see you next time!